Hello and we are back with our garden series walking you through some of the greenhouses and today I'm in greenhouse number five Everfield Road. So come along this way and we're gonna see what beautiful flowers we have in here. That'll be great for hanging baskets, containers, and best of all what I really love about this greenhouse is that we actually have some mixed baskets and containers that you can either pick up and put. It's already a garden ready for you or you can certainly get some inspiration from there as well. So we're gonna talk about some of those. Here we go. Okay so as I mentioned, all these flowers that are in this greenhouse are great for containers, hanging baskets, gardens, whichever you're planning on doing. So we're gonna talk about this side over here first. So these are geraniums. They are an annual best suited for full sun areas. What I really like about geraniums is their wow factor. So they're a great option for a thriller into any area. So, and I say that because it's a pretty powerful bloom. So not only is it bright colors, but I really like how it's a cluster of flowers as you see here here's a start of one okay and they're just a different shape bloom than your traditional daisy looking one there's not a center and then petals coming out from it rather it's a big cluster of those now uh, what I will say is that when you're deadheading it's gonna feel totally wrong but when you deadhead so this is one that's just about to bloom so I'm not gonna pull this one off but when you do deadhead you actually want to go right down to where that stem is okay and you are actually going to crack off that whole stem so you're going to get sticks of the bloom and the stalk that it grows on when you're deadheading geraniums also have a front and back so make sure that when you're planting them you're putting the back in towards the back side okay so the bald spot which is right here believe it or not you wanna put that in towards either the center or towards the back of your container or garden. And check out our thriller spill, our thriller video for more info on that. In here, we also have our beautiful impatient bags. We have some dra trailing geraniums into hanging baskets, which are lovely. Uh, I personally live in a really windy area and they hold up really good into my area. And then some more colors over here as well. I love this purple sizzle so bright lots of oranges pinks reds whites and it also kind of gives you that extra bit of height too so it's a nice tall flower next thing we're going to talk about is bacopa so bacopa is a trailing flower so love this little five petal flower there's blue but it's probably most known for the white ones but there is also pink ones too it's a lovely little pink Especially if you're going for like a pastel kind of color scheme, uh, that pink one is beautiful to go with. Here's another one of the pink. Yeah, there you go. Okay, so they are gonna give you that drop down the side. Right now, as you can see, this one here is starting to do the drop on the side. But if you put that into a container or a hanging basket, it will certainly droop over. As for your gardens, if you're putting that into the garden, it will kind of act as ground cover. Any trailer into a garden is gonna act as ground cover. Okay, next up we're gonna talk about Selena's. So Selena begonias, they are sun lovers, but they can also handle part sun. So, you know, anywhere between five plus hours of sun a day. Very similar to your nonstop begonias that you're probably used to seeing, but they are a little bit smaller in bloom size, but same kind of concept. So I'm gonna show you some that are in the baskets because it kind of gives you a bit, they're a bit older here in the baskets. So you can see how full they are. This is a nice apricot color. Love it. Kind of goes with a nice pastel-y color that some people really love. The red is very stunning. So same thing. There is a front and a back to them. So you want to make sure when you plant them that their blooms are looking at you. Planting it like this, you're not going to have any blooms looking at you. So keep that in mind. Also, when you're planting begonias, don't take off any bit of the root at all. Just pop the whole thing on in. You want to make sure you dig the hole big enough for that. Okay, over here we have straw flowers, uh, or some people know them as everlasting flowers. They're just starting to pop up, and they are really, really bushy. So a lot of people will actually just do a full pot just of that. So that pot there, that's a five and a half inch pot. You can certainly pop that into a seven to eight and just leave it as that. That will certainly fill that out, no problem. Other times people will plant them into their garden just to kind of give that extra bit of wow factor into there. What I really like about them is that they do really look like they're almost like tissue paper flowers. 
okay? They hold up better than tissue paper, but uh, they're also very unique. Here's some more colors of Selena's. And as I mentioned, over here, we also have pre-made containers that you can either look at for inspiration or, you know, hey, this is perfect for my area. You can grab it and go. So up here, we have some mixed baskets. Loving the contrast of the yellow and the purple. Some of the mixes do have uh, your petunias in them, so be aware. So you want to make sure you look at what's in there because this one here is going to need a lot of sun, going to need a lot of care. Come on over here. We also have a bunch of formal containers. And by that, I mean it's a pattern all the way around. So this one here would be good for a part sun area as it has new guineas and lobelia into it. We also have our creeping plants here. This is our Thumbergia or Black Eyed Susan that will get filled out with blooms very shortly. Some more formal hanging baskets with some nonstop begonias. These are our 14 inch hanging baskets. Lots of beautiful blooms, kind of a monochromatic color frame or color scheme here. And this one, I really love this mixture. So we have the bright pink, we have the callies, and then we have the yellow bins in there as a little extra pop of color. Window boxes, we have lots of those as well. Great for if you have a railing onto your deck, or even if you just want to put it sitting onto the deck down there. Certainly gives a wow factor of color. This is another kind of monochromatic. We've got purple petunia, purple verbena. There's purple cali in there as well. Lots more containers to choose from too. Okay, so that is a quick showing of greenhouse number five here at Brookfield Road. Um, as you can see, there are so many options for you to either plant your own or for the ones that are already made for you. So if you're looking for more details on how to put together a container or a garden, be sure to check back for our other videos because we are gonna do a video about how to put together an informal container, which is a mixture of flowers, as well as a formal container, which is more so of a pattern, still stunning. And then we're also gonna do a garden as well because every single thing has little tips and tricks to help you have the best garden ever. Of course, hoping this weather turns around so that that will be uh, working in your favor as well. Okay, see you next time on Lustrous Farm Market Garden Series.